I'm Ben Silverio, and welcome to Nerd News, PFM's place for sci-fi, fantasy, and all things nerdy. In this week's edition, we'll be talking about superheroes in TV, live action, not cartoon, in honor of S.H.I.E.L.D. starting to film this week. So, first show we'll be talking about is Guillermo del Toro's The Incredible Hulk. James, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, Guillermo del Toro has been trying to get this made for a very long time. He's, uh picking up that old Hulk property. Hoping it's still there's some people who want a Hulk TV show. I mean, it was really popular way back when, but um, I'm surprised that it's still going on because it was announced before the Avengers made the Hulk, you know, actually watchable again. And um, I'm surprised they're gonna keep going with it. I don't know if it's gonna have any connection to um, the Marvel Avengers initiative. Theory. Right, because- Well, that's, that's the thing. I mean, like, how can you make you know the whole the whole thing with like the shield is like it's the the, the aspect of the humans and like all that, you know. Uh, but like, how can you have a Hulk TV show, and like say okay, like the only thing it has to have Mark Ruffalo in it. If it doesn't, it's not part of the cinematic universe. Mm -hmm. But but Disney is trying so hard with Shield to make the TV stuff part of that universe. So if they have TV shows that aren't in line with that universe and TV shows that are, I mean, it just seems like. They should have. They should have canned it. As much as I enjoy the Hulk now after Avengers and you know the comics and stuff, and you know and Guillermo del Toro's work, it just seems like there's no room for this show. And I would love if it was Guillermo del Toro directing uh, Mark Ruffalo in some sort of because the Hulk's a great character that doesn't play well in movies as we've apparently seen because <laughs> nobody wants oh, a solo. Angry. Okay, well, <laughs> well, the Incredible Hulk, the 2008 one. It was still I, better than I that. really enjoyed it. Yeah, I really yeah. liked it. I thought I it was great. It Even the Ang Lee one had some great, like... Mm, okay, well. well <laughs> it looked great. But I feel like the Hulk TV show could really work as a prequel because you have that uh, Mark Ruffalo scene where he's like, how did you find me? And it's like, well, we've been following you for a long time. And I think mm -hmm. sort of like that... Maybe, you know, not paired up with S.H.I.E.L.D. like following him, but sort of like that's the like only almost, way. Like yeah. a Bruce Banner show. Yeah, of sort of. Like a, Hulk. Yeah, sort of uh, him like. I don't him. know, but the Bruce Banner thing might get old after a while, you know? I, I don't know. I feel that's like, why we give it a season. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> make it, make it a, a limited series. But yeah. I feel like that's the only place for it as a prequel to the event. Because other than that, it's really hard to make into. Uh, well, if they did go off the Avengers instead of making, I mean, if they're going to make a prequel, I'd imagine that the Shield one would have been, but that's not going to go for that. I feel like they're going straight off. They don't want to go back. So I feel like it's going to be him dealing with being the Hulk more. I mean, he's come to some sort of peace, obviously, from what they've done in the Avengers. While it would be interesting to see how he got there in a prequel, I feel like they don't want to backtrack. I feel like they're going to move forward with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think if they're going to put the Hulk on TV, I think it would be as like a guest on S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm. Like make an indestructible Hulk episode of S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. and have Mark Wade, you know, do something with it. Because that comic right now is awesome. Yeah. It's so good. So like to oh. bring it to TV, I don't, I, I think that would be enough Hulk on TV. Mm -hmm. As much as I love Del Toro and stuff. So keeping with Marvel, uh, the next show in development that we're gonna talk about is AKA Jessica Jones, which is about uh, Jessica Jones, who used to be a superhero, but got out of the business and started a detective agency, and a lot of her clients are super-powered beings. Uh, now, the pilot originally had Carol Danvers, who is Captain Marvel. Yep. And uh, Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel, Captain bunch Marvel. Of, yeah. Um, she goes by a lot Shazam. of names. <laughs> a lot of costumes too. Not Shazam. <laughs> a lot of hairstyles. A lot of hairstyles. <laughs> and Luke Cage, who is Jessica Jones' uh, husband. husband. Almost said wife. <laughs> anyway. um, but yeah, I think this show would really like fit in with what yeah. Marvel's trying to do, and you know it would be in the same vein, and would just be so entertaining. Yeah, I think it would be more. It would it would play on the strings of the more comedic aspects of, um, because Jessica Jones is. I like the stuff with her in the comics with her and Luke Cage, and they have a kid. Now, don't know what kind of status their relationship is in this TV show, whether it's before they get married, but they're just right. friends, do they have the kid? You know, so there's there's always some nice, really, really human stuff to her because she is no longer a superhero. And the whole kind of superhero agency thing, it's 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 cool and I can definitely see it fitting in way more than, than a Hulk TV show ever could. And I think it'll, 
kind of be the more comedic series if, if they have one. Well, I love Jessica Jones because, I mean, of all the superhero girlfriends, um, she's definitely my favorite just because, like, I mean, there's Mary Jane who's off by the sidelines and all those people, but she gets involved. She, like, knows yeah. this is what's going on. She was an Avenger for a time, yeah, too. Yeah, she yeah. Was. Um, Even when she didn't have superpowers. She yeah. all kinds of ass. Yeah. But, um, and also, for the comedic thing, I think it'd be great because S.H.I.E.L.D., I'm sure S.H.I.E.L.D.'s going to be very official, very on the top of everything, dealing with probably aliens and all that. But uh, I feel like this will be a lot more on the streets, house kitchen, fighting all those. Speaking of on the streets, another thing that I think this show would bring in would be the Heroes for Hire, mm. which yeah. is like one of my favorite teams in Marvel history, which was led by Luke Cage, featuring yep. Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, um, Iron Fist, yep. Misty Knight. Uh, there's, there's a lot of fun characters in uh, Heroes for Hire yep. that could really be different than anything that's on TV right now. I just have a lot of skepticism for the show, namely because I don't think I think it would be a great idea, but I just don't think it has enough traction behind the name. It has enough traction uh, to really draw viewers in. Like if you made it, even like a Luke Cage or Iron Fist um, has a lot more recognizability within the mainstream audience. Especially than, with the Ultimate Spidey cartoon yeah, that's out right, right now. They're in that. They're in that. Reason. They were in the <laughs> Marvel. They were in the the Marvel an, the Avengers animated series, mm -hmm. and you right. know they just they have a lot more recognizability to the mainstream audience. So I think if you really want to make a show focused around the character, maybe try and brand it in a way that works better. But I I, I have a lot of skepticism for the show coming to fruition. Well, they've been trying to get a. Luke Cage, like anything around Luke Cage, Luke Cage or, yeah. uh, Iron Fist off the ground for a very long time yeah. now. Mm. I, I, even before, before The Avengers was even a thought to be turned into a movie, that was, that's been a... Yeah. It would be a cool kind of buddy cop type yeah. thing. <laughs> I watch oh it. my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just picturing Directed by Brett Ratner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I feel like my only downside to it, I think it could be a great show if The Shield wasn't around. Because yeah. I feel like... It's going to be under its Shield, shadow. Yeah, I feel yeah. Like with Shield and with this, aka, AKA Jessica Jones, it's going to either get overshadowed or completely redundant. Um, or in, And possibly even, you know, too much. I feel like... Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, is Marvel has had, uh, I mean, since Iron Man, they've, I mean, just everything has just been, you know, great after great after great. I feel like this could be the first... Right. And, you know, people are starting to, you know, get wary of superheroes, and it's like, you know, I've seen a few of these. So I think Shield's a good way to just kind of like wane people. But yeah. I agree, it's it's just a little too much to have another show focused around. I mean, there's only a couple more superheroes in the Marvel library that you can really push out. That people know. Oh, Iron Man. Oh, Hulk. I feel like there's only a couple more before you have to really start winning them in, which yeah. I think is what Shield's gonna be great at. Yeah. And I'd be okay if Shield kind of absorbs Jessica Jones in some sort of way. Like, yeah, I can see that working out. City well, correspondent. We talked a lot about Marvel, but uh, DC also has a TV show in development. Uh, it started at NBC, mm -hmm. and now it's over at the CW, uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, and it's called Amazon? Yeah. That's right, right. Uh, mm -hmm. Vegas? Yeah, it's now on the CW, and it's kind of based around... It's supposed to be based around in the same vein as... Uh, the other TV shows, um, Arrow Smallville. and Smallville. So it's going to be not really the Wonder Woman as Wonder Woman, but more of the origin story. Okay. Because the original take they were going for that uh, NBC pilot was awful. I mean, once they released that costume, I, I, that good hype. People were kind of excited for that. I was, I mean, mildly interested in it. And I love Adrian, I'm going to butcher her name, Adrian Padalecki. Friday Night Lights. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> she, she was Friday Night she Lights. Was. Friday Night Lights. <laughs> um, and uh, I thought she was great, and, but I'm very happy that they're right. switching gears. Well, that's about all the time we have this week for Nerd News. Check out the other videos on our channel. Feel free to comment on anything that we said in the comment section. Hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. See you next time.